a fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. Hello, everyone. Well, here's something we say every day of the week, don't we? It's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It is Manchester City, and they face Al Nasser. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson begins in goal. Mateo Kovacic plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Anderson Talisca plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Anderson Talisca. On to Ronaldo. Very quick thinking there. Mateo Kovacic. On to Holland. It is a decent looking attack here. Can they forge ahead? Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. A forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Uh, what can he do from this excellent position? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Mateo Kovacic and Grealish. Keeping the ball moving. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them, just wasn't a very good pass finally. To the advanced position opportunity misfiring completely yeah he's gone for power but the contact was never right it's a poor effort really Foden let's see your players waiting in the middle can he take advantage decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Anderson Taliska. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Could be troublesome. Keeper dealt with it. Trying to deliver it accurately. And well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Foden. Grealish. Rodri. Here's Alvarez. Vadiol. Grealish. On to Holland. Erling Holland. Oh, wasteful. Very wasteful. Well, I think that's an easy chance for him there. The goalkeeper can't believe his luck, can he? Now sending it in. Well, the keeper takes the ball, but the main thing is he held on to it. Mane. 
And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Brozovic. And he stopped them in their tracks. Foden. Kovacic. It's a very attractive passing sequence. Grealish. On to Holland. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Anderson Taliska. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Can he finish? And nicely parried away. Gvardiol. Already closing him down here. Retaining possession proving difficult. Rodri. Mateo Kovacic. Not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Grealish. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Going well. Shaping to shoot and fine goalkeeping. Well, as you can see from those stats, they're just not creating enough. They need to play at a quicker tempo, get the ball into the danger area and get more players in the box. Make the opposition have to defend it. They're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Holland. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Lajami. Not giving him a moment's peace. On the attack as there to be late excitement and played in oh can you believe it with so little time left surely that will be the winner amazing scenes here well as you can see the cross by Tellis is absolutely inch perfect and he does well to read the flight of the ball to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seemed to catch him off guard a really good controlled finish what a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
this could level it. Oh, it's a superb challenge. Very timely. So in the closing phase of the game, can City pull out all the stops and grab an equaliser, Stuart? Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. Throw into Manchester City. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. And taken short. Dangerous ball. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. And there's the final whistle, the big headline, defeat for City. What did you make of this? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. 